back to the Surf of Jello Show with Chef Frankie. Today we're doing part one of remodeling the kitchen for the backsplash. Backsplash is what goes up here. This is old. It's old wallpaper. We don't know if it's drywall or plaster in the back. But the landlord of Frankie's office is not doing it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of a scraper. We picked up. Now we're not being endorsed. But we picked up a tool called a 5-in-1. It's a scraper, a little cutter. What you're going to need also is a trash bag. Well, hopefully one that will work. But anyways, you can see we got everything covered up. You can see that this is loose. Now, it's going to be dusty back here. If you want to wear gloves, rubber gloves, do it. If you want a paper mask, some kind of mask, do it. Safety glasses, some kind of regular glasses, do it. What we're going to do is we're going to take all this off, this wallpaper or whatever it is, and going to put it in our trash bag. We're going to be nice and neat. Then we're going to look at it to see what we need to do. Now, you want to be careful ripping this off because it might stick on here. It might take some of this with it. So we, here we go. Here we go. You know what? Take this very lightly. Get there. Pull. Wedge it underneath. Wedge it underneath. Oh, this is, this is, oh, man, that is old, and that's very tough. I think that used to be some kind of wallpaper, very tough. Put it in here. Stay very clean. Get the high part, pry it in there. Also, we did not pull out the stove. If you want to pull it out, good luck. Sometimes they don't come out. Ooh. I know it's hard for you to see my hands in the way, but this is what I'm talking about. It sticks. That's what I'm talking about. See? Some of it still sticks on here. And that will be a problem. Let's see what we can do here. I'm take it like that. behind the stove but like I say it, man I don't know how deep it goes but I want to be able to get, get up out of there If you're wearing rubber gloves, they will rip. Let's see. That. Okay, we're going to get the big stuff and come back for this little stuff. Stuff like this may not come off. That feels like dry board or dry, dry wall, a couple of different types. You want to be careful not to rip it. Well, let's see. If I cut, use the cutter up here like so. I don't know if you can see that using that part up here. Ooh, brand new too. Doing good. Get up in here underneath the hood range. This is a hood range. Woo! That was somewhat easy, but not always. Here is that. We appreciate all you tuning in. Really do. Now, be careful of this plastic. There we go. Usually, this, whatever drywall, old backs plastic, whatever they've been using, is not going to all the way to the floor. So, that's one reason why you do not have to pull the stove all the way out or at all. Majority. Of the contractors do not do that. Okay, let's see over here. I'm trying. Oh, see how it's bringing up the spring up the white part, the cover of that. That's not a bad thing. We got something to take care of it. Okay, that was easy. Um, 
over here. We go through all this little stuff. This is our tape. You can see over, I don't know if you can see, but over this way, the wall was painted. So, my, don't know how much backsplash Chef Frankie bought us. It's called peon stick. That's why we got to take care of all this first. See how what how well we think that might work. Oh, we really don't want that down there, but it's only here we go. Oh, okay. Let's scrape this up. Right, so, see, so we do this in what's called real time. So you can tell it's not being edited. Some people don't want to see all this process, but it's what you're going to go through. So we want to let, show you what might happen and what to expect. Hopefully it won't happen to you. Yeah, we don't want that down there, but... All right, well, that looks like it's not bad. It's flush when it's even. Let me take care of this up here. Take care of this up here. Cut that. We say part, this is part one, because we don't know how long it's going to take. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. This is why we let you know. Okay. Yeah. This over here, this here, <laughs> looks like the backing or cardboard like of the drywall. Or whiteboard in the old days. And this place is very old. I'm sure Frankie has his office. Hey. <laughs> you get what you can for rent. Alright. Well, you know what? Let, let me take, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. Alright. Well. That. Do a little more here. Get that out. That looks like it's just really on there. It's not going to come off. That's okay. We got something. That we're going to show you how to do it. All right, I'm going to take a paper towel because it's not too dirty. So you can use a paper towel. It doesn't have to be a big bunch at all. Very one small strip. You want to wipe it down dry. This is what's called chalking, the old residue. Now, online, it tells you there's different ways to prime this. So you're not really going to see it because it's white, but it's all right in the trash bag. Okay. Now, you don't just put your um, backsplash on. We have peel and stick, so we got to make sure it stays on there. They talk about bonding. But what we did was, Chef Frankie went and got a nice can of rust -Oleum. 2x undercoat primer see now you do not want this fan on when spraying do not do not it will suck the fumes up in there and cause you problems this is why i say you might want a paper mask or whatever mask you might use if you really got bad allergies use a big respirator like in construction but you don't just spray you got to lightly dust. Hopefully you're going to see how it goes. Now can you see how it's, how it's drying out right in this area? It's called suck. It's sucking it in. And I'm going to get a little closer. That is strong. Does not take a lot. You can see the dust in here in the fog. So we're letting it go. We got everything covered up in the kitchen. Like you see, you do not need to put a lot of it. Now spots like that, you might want to hit, you want to hit first. It might, one, two, that depends upon you. Because it will suck it in. 
But what you want to do is make that primer get on there evenly. So it builds up so it's almost level. Let me step back. Some of the fumes. Also, if you come up here and point down, you'll see those fumes to fall down on it. It's up to you how you do it. There's no guarantee of how many coats a primer it's going to take. Like I said, there's different ways of using primer. That'll be good. That's covered. But you also want to need to let it set and dry and cure. That can take, depending upon the product, a few hours, a day. But you let it sit in a little bit. You can see over here. I need to hit up over in here. Now, any backsplash will go flush here. You don't put black backsplash here or here. Some people put it down here. You don't have to if you don't want to. Like I said, this is all up to you. Get some of that get plug get out of the way. Cover it up. Like I say, you don't need a lot of primer or bonding agent, whichever you may be using. We don't know. So Frankie found this. There's a lot of stuff on the net that tells you you like to use vinegar or water, some other stuff. But that's dry that's dry board, drywall, whiteboard, usually the same thing. If you get that wet, you got a big mess. And you don't want to get any of that wet and have it soggy. You want to keep it solid. That's why if you do a little bit of the primer spray, you let it dry and set, and you can go over it again. And also, when stuff like this gets wet or damp, it might loosen up. So that's why you let it set. We keep this scraper nearby. After it's pretty good dry, you scrape on it, maybe like a little in here or here after it dries, and you see what happens. All right, for right now, we're going to wait for it to cure a bit. We're coming back. Like I say, this is in parts. Now you, you will see why. Sir for Joe Show, Chef Frankie. Thank you. Subscribe. Donate. Share our videos. Like our videos. We appreciate you tuning in. This is part one of Remodeling Kitchen doing Backsplash.